Tonight, we're bringing you good news out of South Pasadena. It's sandwiched between Gulfport, Treasure Island, St. Pete, and St. Pete Beach. And soon, the town will have a new fire station. 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin shares the impact the new digs will have on response times and how firefighters get through their shifts. This fire station was built nearly 50 years ago, and if you take a tour through the building, you can tell. A lot has changed since 1977. For example, um, the EMS system, the emergency medical service system as it is today, uh, was not in, in existence back then. So currently about 87% of our calls are EMS related. There aren't separate sets of bathrooms for men and women, the roof leaks, and there isn't a lot of privacy in the dorms. Uh, the new station will have an air hawk system to remove diesel particulate. Uh, we'll also now have a bunker gear storage area uh, that is climate controlled, UV protected, and will uh, allow each firefighter to have two sets of gear. So if they get one set soiled or contaminated, uh, they can change into a clean set of gear. There'll be an on-site gear extractor dryer. With the more central location, this new fire station will shorten response times for emergency calls, specifically to the south and southeast portions of the city. Think about it, hold your breath for a minute and then try to hold it for 30 more seconds. And it, it really lets you know that seconds do matter in this line of work. More than 90% of the patients South Pasadena Fire Department helps are transported to HCA Florida Pasadena Hospital. In an emergency such as a brain bleed, seconds equal brain cells, time equals outcome, not just to survive, but the quality of the outcome of survival. So this investment will improve the outcomes for our community. Now, as firefighters transition into their new building, it's with 18 firefighters working one of three shifts. So altogether, this is going to be a $10.4 million project. Um, that includes a fire station, four apparatus bays, administrative facilities, and a classroom or community room that will also serve as an emergency operations center for the city. Barring any construction delays, South Pasadena's new state-of-the-art fire station is expected to open on May 13th. In South Pasadena, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. As for the existing building firefighters will soon move out of, the city will decide if they want to sell or lease out that building.